Hello all. Today I'd like to talk about Tunisia. We don't hear much about it, but that country's experiment with democracy makes it the world's most important Arab country right now. We should be doing more to support them. Tunisia is a small country of just 11 million people, squeezed between the geographically much larger Algeria and Libya. The Arab Spring actually started here on December 17, 2010, in the small city of Sidi Bouzid, when Mohamed Bouazizi set himself on fire. The protests spread throughout the country and throughout the region, toppling multiple governments. It seems like most people now see the Arab Spring as a bad thing, I've explained elsewhere why that's ridiculous. Folks who were expecting an easy transition to democracy were always going to be disappointed. That's not how revolutions work. But as I look across the region, I can see why people are down on the Arab Spring. It seems to have given power to the worst elements in the region, and disaster is everywhere. Chaos or brutally restored order seem to be the main results, and Syria in particular is a nightmare. But people are ignoring one very important fact. Tunisia is not a disaster. It's actually a success. It's not Sweden, but they've got a functioning parliament. Importantly, Islamist parties and more secular parties have been able to work together. They're working for the benefit of their country, and they're not trying to kill each other. They've already survived multiple crises, including the fall of another prime minister last month, and they're continuing to move forward. This alone makes Tunisia the most important Arab country in 2016. ISIS knows how important this is, and they've done their best to kill it. Two terrorist attacks in 2015 almost destroyed Tunisia's vital tourism industry, representing 7% of GDP and hundreds of thousands of jobs. Somehow the democracy experiment has survived, which is another testament to the good sense of the Tunisian people. If they can keep it together, the example of sanity could very well spread to neighboring Libya and to Algeria, which is sure to be experiencing a transition soon. If we really want democracy in Arab North Africa, Tunisia's experiment must succeed. We need to do more to support this. The U.S. State Department recently boasted that the United States has provided more than $360 million in economic growth-related activities since 2011, including loan guarantees in 2012 and 2014, blah, 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 blah. That's a good start, but an average of $72 million a year and the opportunity to get into more debt is essentially nothing. Compare that to the billions we've already given to Egypt's restored dictator, or the billions we've spent to make the Syrian civil war worse. We need to do more for Tunisia. If we're really serious about Arab democracy, we will. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, please click on the Patreon link here to find out how.